Today we're going to upscale and enhance some photos, AI art images and pictures using the Topaz Photo AI, which is like an amalgamation and sort of summarized version of the Gigapixel Upscaler, Denoiser and Sharpener. So I'm going to open it up. I've got it open now. I'm going to browse some images to add in. Okay, so I'm going to choose this drawing, this piece of AI art and this photo to showcase what we can do with Photo AI. Starting with the AI art, give it a chance to just quickly render what it's doing. And you see it's already added some enhancements. However, they're a little bit over the top. So this might be holding settings from what I've done previously. What we're gonna do is we're going to just simply give it an upscale to four. We can go to max, which is six, but where it has recover faces, we're gonna just knock that down a bit and enhance resolution. We can put in graphics, and you can see things are starting to look a little bit better. So things are starting to look a little bit better. We can try other things such as natural for enhanced resolution, but we get, it's still looking not too bad. And we also have other options here like remove noise. Not a lot of noise in this photo, so you don't need to worry about that. We can also sharpen your standard lens blur or motion blur. This image doesn't need that either. But what we need to do, I think, is simply just bring back some of, it's just a little bit too full on with the enhancement, but it's still not bad. I can bring this recover faces back. It's starting to look a bit more natural now. But you can see how it's really enhanced the photo in general. It's really cleaned it up, it's upscaled it. I can even upscale it to max. And it doesn't have as many settings as the Gigapixel uh, upscaler, but it is also a lot simpler. And just check out the results here. This is pretty, pretty clear. But I can also zoom in if you wanna have a closer look at the eye for an example. So you can see how well it's actually worked on that. There's a bit of a droop on the eye, but uh, if we bring this up a little bit, maybe we'll fix it up. Either way, it's done a terrific job upscaling this without all the extra image settings that we would normally get. And like I said, if we had noise or we wanted to sharpen it, we could do that as well, but I don't think we need to worry about that right now. The enhanced resolution is not too bad, uh, but that's pretty much it. We got that. That's not looking too bad. But we're going to leave that here and move on to the next one, which is this image. You can see how it's really done a good job of adding detail. In our last video, it did lose a lot of detail when we used the Gigapixel upscaler. But this time, we've managed to, to keep a lot of it. We're going to upscale this to max, but I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And there's other things in here like sharpen. I'm going to add the sharpen in there. And we can try it. It's got standard. We can try lens blur or motion blur. I think the standard has done the best job, but we can up the strength, down the clarity, we can move things around and change the levels of strength behind the sharpen. I think overall that's pretty good and considering there's less options, it actually does a really good job with the information it's given. Remove noise might take too much of the noise out, so we're gonna leave it on this one and I'm gonna go back down to, we don't have to worry about faces, there's no faces on here, but under enhanced resolution, we're gonna try a few different settings such as graphics or natural. I do believe natural looks best in this instance, so we're gonna run with that. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna head over here to this photograph. Now just for the sake of rendering time, because this does run on your computer and I do edit out the actual time, wait times, I'm gonna move this to four, upscaled by four, I'm gonna to go to say 100%. So we're getting in pretty close and we're gonna check out how it upscales first. Let's just find something. We'll go, we can move over here. I can get onto his eye. Straight away, you can see by using the recover faces, it's added a lot of detail to the eye. If I zoom back out 50%, it's done a great job with the face. It's still not 100% perfect, but I can go in here. I can knock the strength back. I think it looks, still looks pretty good like that, but you can see what it's managed to do. The photo AI has done a great job of fixing up this face whilst also upscaling it. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit again to say 25%. And you can see here, it's automatically detected settings. There's a lot of noise in this image, but in this image on the right here, things are very clean because remove noise has automatically been added and I can change the strength and detail if I want to. I can make it normal instead of strong. So let's just try strong for a sec. That looks pretty good. We'll switch to normal. And I think normal has done uh, a bit of a bad job with some of his background. So we'll go back to strong. But we're also gonna go in and sharpen things up a bit too. So under sharpen, we're gonna say lens blur because there's no motion. It's not motion blur. 
and we're going to try and sharpen it up a bit. Maybe I want to sharpen it a bit more. And I think that's looking pretty good. So it goes to show you how quickly and easily you can make adjustments. It's only a very basic version or amalgamation of the other three programs. But overall, it does an amazing job when you consider like what you're working with. What I'm going to do now is I've, I've got them all down here. I've made their adjustments. They've all got different settings. I'm going to click Save Three Images. And you can see it's got a list here. I can give it a file name with a suffix if I want to. I'm just going to save it into the original folder. I'm going to save them all as JPEGs. Quality right up to full. Click Save. And it's going to process them. And in a minute, we're going to check them out and see how they turned out. But before we do, check out the size. This image, which was 1024 by 1024, is going to be 6,000 by 6,000 pixels. 800 by 800 is going to be 4,800 by 4,800 pixels. And this image I downloaded from uh, Pexels, which is already a high resolution image at 3,500 pixels by over 5,000. It's going to be 14,000 pixels by 21,000 pixels. And it's going to be an absolutely gargantuan file. So I'm very interested to see how this one is going to turn out. So this is our AI art, the original file. You can see if I zoom in, things get a bit blurry. But when I go across, things are a little bit enhanced. I zoom in, you can see how sharp things are. The amount of detail it has added. It's really brought this image to life, enhanced it, and done a great job of creating a very high resolution file I can use for print or whatever I want. And really done a great job with the face, which I think is one of the most impressive parts of this whole thing. Go into this public domain uh, drawing I found. If I zoom in again, the detail is not great. I come across to here and zoom in and there's added a ton of detail, texture. And in my opinion, I think it's handled it better than what I did with the Gigapixel Upscaler because it's a bit more uh, automatic, but uh, still very cool and a great, uh, either both tools are great, but I think that this one actually seems to be very much the best at sort of preserving and finding the best settings for your product. Finally, we have our original image. If you remember, we zoom in, things are very grainy. It's still, well, it's still a high quality image. There's a lot of grain and information that needs to be added. But if I go across, we zoom in on this, the final image is crystal clear. This is a 600, sorry, it was 600 image meg file, but it's actually 115 meg JPEG, 21,000 pixels tall. And it's actually really cleaned it up and upscaled it, took all the noise out of it. It looks incredible, absolutely incredible. So some impressive uh, technology there with Topaz. So if you're a photographer, AI artist, anyone looking to increase the size of your imagery, check out the Topaz Photo AI. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I've paid for, the, paid for it myself and I swear it's just been incredible ever since I got it. So hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, Please consider giving it a like otherwise don't forget to check out this you can try it out for free check out the link in the description below otherwise i hope to see you again soon have a great day